I always share a classic story of um, a new student coming to the school who had come from quite a, a rough background um, and came with a few behavioural issues. And I remember one day uh, out in the schoolyard, um, he was you know, hurting another child. And a couple of our students, uh, not our upper primary, our middle primary students actually went up to him and said, we don't do that here, we're a kids matter school. To me, that's the biggest impact ever. That, uh, that this initiative has done, the children actually taking that on. From there, we've now got parents coming into the school uh, again. You know, we parents didn't want to come into the school. Uh, school was for the children, it wasn't for them. We've got parents coming in now doing cooking, um, doing an exercise class. Uh, you know, they're here at the school in the garden, the chickens, all of that. So the parents have become involved. Cobby is known throughout the Riverland as a, as a Kids Matter school and, and that's what everybody says here that works here. Cobby is a Kids Matter school. Well, I came to the school in 2006 and it had a reputation for being a pretty challenging, a challenging environment in which to work and I knew there had to be a change to the way the school was operating because we had very high suspension rates. At that stage it was uh, about 40% which means that uh, in, every, in 2005 at least 40% of the children were being suspended and anyone in education would know that that's not an environment in which good learning would take place. And uh, it was highlighted more to me when I was in, on, in the yard one day and, and a grade six student told me that um, in conversation, and I think I said to them, why, what are you doing wandering around in gangs? And they said, oh, this school sucks. Uh, it's not fun, you know, we don't do any learning and, you know, our, our communities, you know, our community sucks and we don't like being at school and I saw this Kids Matter um, initiative and it just twigged to my mind that what this girl had been saying to me about the school and the community, um, that maybe Kids Matter might be able to give us an opportunity to work through a way of changing what her view and, and the view of others. Kids Matter Primary is an Australian initiative that aims to improve the mental health and well-being of primary school children. It provides proven methods, tools and support to help schools, families and the wider community nurture happy, balanced kids. Kids Matter schools begin with a two to three year journey to support students' mental health and well-being. There are four key areas called components that schools focus on. Component one is about promoting a school community that's positive and inclusive of all members. Component two looks at the best ways of teaching social and emotional skills to all students. What do you think's happened? When you're getting bullied. Is that right? Give him a clap. Great acting. Component three is about schools and families working together to support children. Component four is about helping children with mental health difficulties. It recognises that schools can't do this work alone and that working with families, health and community agencies will lead to the best outcomes for children. When we started with Kids Matter Primary, you know, we had a good school already. Admittedly we did. But we can all do better as educators. It's really important to do the very best you can and the 21st century, it's a rapidly changing world. So Kids Matter Primary is about really focusing and zeroing in on the social emotional needs and the relationship with parents and carers that has to exist to make schooling the very best experience for our children during those golden years of schooling. When we first talked about Kids Matter, teachers did think of it as a program and they thought, okay, it's another thing, we have to do another thing and when it was explained to them that no, it's not another program, it's like an umbrella, it's overarching, it incorporates everything we're already doing at school. You know, we, we, Program Achieve is a program. Um, social skills is a program. Kids Matter encompasses all of that, so it's nothing new. It is purely about an umbrella that overarches everything we're already doing in our school 
but it just puts it all in a package. Kids Matter is a really useful conceptual framework to help schools do better at the things they care about doing in the first place, which is optimising children's learning and their wellbeing. Basically, what it does is provide a conceptual framework that has schools focus on promotion of wellbeing, prevention of problems, and early intervention for children who are undergoing distress or challenge. We know that children in Australia, as in other parts of the world, have a significant level of mental health problems. Mental health problems or illnesses or disorders, whichever we like to call them, call them are common in the community. We know that one in five adults at least has such a problem and that in itself may impact on children in the family. But we also know that children have problems in their own right. Many things contribute to these problems and the statistics for children range from 18% to 33% in some studies. If we invest in this as a society, we are going to get good outcomes with reduced patterns of depression and anxiety and other mental health disorders in our population. We're also going to get increased engagement in learning. When children feel happy, connected, purposeful and optimistic about their workplace, which is school, and learning, which is their job, then they're going to achieve better in that domain. Um, being mentally healthy is knowing when you don't have to hold all your sadness and emotions inside and you can just let it out. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> Having good mental health means like you can get the job done and um, persist in what you're doing without other people saying, oh no, you can't do that and you, 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 you're bad at this and everything like that, so yeah. Kids Matter helps the future be better with kids and um, being men mentally healthy and physically healthy for the future. At a Kids Matter school, everyone's included in making their school a better place. Each school forms their own action team, made up of representatives of the whole school community. Together, they review school policies and practices across the four components, identify strengths and challenges in their school, and plan strategies for improvement. We decided about five years ago that Kids Matter would be not just a program, not just a procedure in our school, but would actually be an ethic that we would all work under. So our action team have been responsible for putting all of the strategies and things that we've wanted to do for a very long period of time to involve all aspects of school, community, students, teachers, staff, everyone, to put them together, to work together for the best outcomes for everyone. As part of the training, there was some Kids Matter Primary supports all staff with professional learning, which is based on the latest evidence for what works to support student mental health and wellbeing. The Kids Matter training allows you to lead the staff in staff meetings and to attend professional development sessions so that when it comes to delivering it with the parents or in the classroom, it makes sense to the teacher. Kids Matter's got great pedigree. It's supported by the Australian Government, Beyond Blue, the Australian Psychological Society and Principals Australia. It's important that this pedigree is there because when we present it to staff, they've got to have faith in the framework. I think uh, what Kids Matter actually supplies to schools in general, not only teachers but principals, everybody, is uh, there's a wonderful resources. That's what I love about the Kids Matter framework. Um, they've got the online service that you can tap into at any time with and you can print resources off, you can download resources um, and therefore everybody, for students, for parents, community members. When Kids Matter is successfully implemented in a school, it's the equivalent to another six months of achievement by Year 7. Now that's um, not said lightly, it, it's been researched by Flinders University so it's, got, it's, it's pretty firm data that when you do it right they, you've um, improved the children's academic outcomes by six months. We selected uh, 100 schools and we collected the data um, over a period of two years and what we found um, was that systematically Kids Matter produced changes. It had a significant impact on the mental health of the kids involved um, and it produced changes around attitudes toward mental health and, and well-being. It not only reduced the difficulties so that more kids were feeling better, but it increased uh, the, 
the kids' feelings of resilience and coping and being positive about the world. A year after we, we'd introduced Kids Matter to the community, I knew things had changed when um, a student said to me that she'd been in lots of schools and her mum said that this was the best school she'd been in because the, the school listened to the children and their problems and they just didn't pass them off. And uh, I knew things had changed when at the end of the second year I didn't have any teachers who wanted to transfer out. And I knew things had certainly changed when I had parents coming to speak to me in um, calm, respect, respectful ways, um, rather than in ways that, you know, that we saw as being inappropriate and challenging and in-your-face type discussions. It's really important as a parent to know that the school doesn't concentrate just on the academics, that they're um, prepared and, and know the avenues to go through to help with other issues. Um, it's helped my family as a whole to, to get through certain situations with my children um, and, and to know that I can come to the school and speak to them about things other than just academics. It's amazing. Yeah. Children don't just come to school to sit in, in a classroom and do academic things and if their mental health is not, uh, it, you know, if they're not healthy mentally or emotionally, those things that you're trying to get them to do are not going to work anyway, you know, like you can't expect a child to learn if they're in a place of um, unresolved grief or, or hurting or sad that day. How can you expect them to suddenly switch on their brain and go, oh, I'm ready to learn, you know, maths or this or whatever. So that's why I think it's it's not just important, it's actually essential to, to, um, to for schools to, to be working on the mental health of children, to be supporting the mental health of children. You might as well not bother doing anything unless that's right first, in my opinion. I think Kids Matter has brought to the national agenda the mental health and wellbeing of children. It's brought it to a national agenda because many of us have been passionate and concerned about this for a long time. But because children are part of a family and seen their behaviour and the things that happen in their lives are seen as totally in the family, only in the schools if there's a difficulty, we haven't really owned that this is something important to the whole of the world. It's important in this country and other countries because it's the future. My recommendation for all principals is not to see this as, oh, another thing, but to in fact go, aha, this is the thing in terms of Look, it's so flexible. It gives you a framework that you can actually move through at your own pace, but it actually addresses the key areas that make your school better and make it a great place for your staff and a great way for you as, as principal to have control over what's happening in those four key areas. Um, most people would not remember a lesson taught at school, but they will remember a teacher who sowed something into their lives and saw something, probably not what they were, but what they could become. And so that only comes from knowing the students, knowing where they're at, knowing the sports they play, knowing the battles they're facing and the situations they're up against. And honestly, that's where, that's where we've got to be at. I'm going to year seven next year. I just don't want to leave St Mark's. Yeah, I'm going to miss it you know, a lot. Like out of all the seven schools I've been to, I think this one's my favourite one because like not only did it include me, but it included my mum as well. And I think that's really important to me because like I really love my mum. All I can say is, you know, if people are still thinking about it, at least have a look at it. Um, have a look at the website. Have a look at all the wonderful resources and the people that are involved. Talk to different schools, different principals that are Kids Matters School and uh, listen to the stories. There's so many stories out there of what people are doing. You're not alone and it's about sharing. That's what I think is the most important thing. Schools, sometimes we shut our doors and we say, oh, we have to do with it ourselves. With Kids Matter, no way. You just, you share, you listen, you learn. And that's what Kids Matter is about. To find out more about Kids Matter, visit www.kidsmatter.edu.au.